Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to welcome every, everybody to this year's Lars Onsag lecture. We have a very distinguished lecturer today, but we have had many distinguished lectures before, but we never had that many coming to, to the lecture itself. So I'm very pleased to see the, uh, that many here, in particular when it's in the middle of the exams. Uh, before I say something about uh, today's lecture, I would like to say a few words about Lars Onsager, because I, I think that f for many of you it's just a name. So he was born in Oslo in 1903. He uh, graduated from Entehå in 1925 with an engineering degree and went directly afterwards to ETH in Zurich. Uh, he went there and, and visited uh, the ex expert on his specialty, electrolytes, at ETH. And he gave one of the many legendary Onsage remarks when he entered the room of a person he had never seen before. So his opening remark was, Professor Dubai, your theory on electrolytes is incorrect. <laughs> so uh, Professor Dubai, who was the expert on this and would later get the Nobel Prize in chemistry, asked Onsage to sit down and explain what was wrong with the theory. And obviously, Dubai was very impressed because he hired Onsage on the spot. <laughs> so he was hired at ETH for a two-year period. After two years, he moved on to the US. First, he went to Johns Hopkins University, where he was fired after a year because of bad teaching. <laughs> he then went to Brown and stayed there for a, a few years, where he actually did the work where, for which he later got the Nobel Prize. But this was during the Depression, and he had to move on. So he got, uh, went to Yale, and he spent almost 40 years at Yale. And this is where he did his spectacular work in uh, many different areas of uh, physics and chemistry, and also finished a PhD in mathematics while at Yale. So he's very well known for several theories. And uh, the physicist favorite theory is the solution of the Ising model in two dimensions which is uh, a model where you can describe phase transitions. And he was able to solve this model, and that was a major breakthrough. And in fact, all the subsequent work on phase transition has its origin in the work by Lars Onsage. While at Brown, he had done the work for, for which he later got the Nobel Prize, which is now called the Onsage reciprocity relations. So he was nominated for the, the Nobel Prize in chemistry and physics several times. And the chemists and the physicists will always argue what is his most important theory, the Ising model or the, the reciprocity relations. But he got the Nobel Prize in chemistry in 1968. And he died in uh, 1976. So let me now talk to today's Sundsvall lecturer, Terence Tau. So he was born in Australia in 1975. And he had had a stellar career. He was a child prodigy starting with uh, high school exams at the age of seven, university exams at the age of nine, finishing a master's degree at the 17, which is quite unusual by any standards. All of this in Australia. Then he moved to the US, finishing a PhD at Princeton University at 20. He then moved to UCLA in California and, and became a full professor there at the age of 24, and he has remained there. So. He, what characterizes the work of uh, Terence Tao is that it has an incredible depth. He's solving problems that have been unsolved for a very long time. Classical problems that have been unsolved and he can come with new techniques and solve them. It's an incredible uh, width in the sense that he can work on problems in many different areas of mathematics, going from number theory to differential equations. And finally, it has an incredible volume. <laughs> Just to share volume of the work that he has been doing, number of papers exceeds 100, close to 50 collaborators, and eight books. He maintains a very active blog and is visible in the, in the current discussion of mathematics on the internet. Because this work has not gone un unnoticed, and he has received many awards for this. So I will mention only two. One is the Fields Medal. That is the most prestigious prize in mathematics for mathematicians younger than 40. And he got this at the age of 31. He got it in 2006 in Spain. The second award is um, 
the so-called MacArthur Genius Award. There's no application, there's no, no obligation except to continue to do creative work. And it carries a monetary award of half a million dollars. So we are very pleased that uh, Terence Tal could take time and come here and present the, the lecture. Tomorrow, he will talk about compressed sensing, one of the areas where he has made uh, uh, substantial contributions. Today, he's going to talk about uh, uh, number theory. But before uh, uh, I leave the floor to him, I will ask our pro-rector, Astrid Legreid, to present the Onsaga Medal to Terence Tal. So please, Astrid. So, standing on the shoulders of great women and great men has always been an important strategy to look, be able to look wider and to be more visible. Therefore, it is important for the Norwegian University of Science and Technology that we are able to stand on the shoulders of Nobel laureates Lars Unsage and to be able to attract distinguished scientists such as Terence Tau is a very, one of the finest examples of who is here today. And I would like to say from the rectorate of the, of the NTNU that we are very honored to have you here and to be able to listen to your lectures, to learn and to be inspired from. So with this, I would like to present the uh, one, the one thing I want to give to you is um, stamp with a large unsage, as it's a first day uh, version. But first and foremost, uh, the large unsage medal of 2008 to Professor Terence Thaw. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I think the floor is yours, Terry. Please. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm very, very honoured to to receive this uh, this award, and to come here to uh, to Norway. This is my first time here. The uh, the weather is quite different from that of Los Angeles, actually. <laughs> um, but it is very nice here. I'm uh, I'm enjoying my visit. So um, so I'm going to talk about uh, one area of mathematics I work in. Um, it's uh, it's one I'm particularly fond of. Uh, number theory, the study of prime numbers. Um, this is one of the oldest subjects in mathematics. It was studied by the ancient Greeks, um, who posed some of the first, um, fun, well, they proved some of the first fundamental results in this, in, this, in this subject, and they posed some fundamental questions, some of which are still not solved today, although there has been a lot of progress. And um, you know, there has been thousands of years of work on the subject, and there's no way I can tell you all of that in one hour, 